We are told these days that men and women are just the same. I think it's a big lie. But we're told that women can do anything that man do, men do and vice versa. But my guest, Ryan Gerdeski, has been studying the science of the gender differences. Ryan, welcome to Smart Life. Thank you so much, Dr. Gina. Congratulations on the new show. Thank you so much. Now, I, I have to ask you, Ryan, you've got to tell us, um, what exactly does science tell us about the, the intricate differences between the brains of men and women? Right. Well, now I'm not a scientist, but I've done some research on this. And women and men display different distinct um, uh, differences when it comes to their nerve fibers in their brain and the way that regions of their brain uh, work with nerve fibers. Women's brains connect across the left and right hemispheres of people's brains, as contrast to like men who usually use the front lobe and back regions of their brain more so than their right and, right and left. And so uh, there's a statement that uh, came from The Guardian, and it says this, men have better motor and spatial abilities, but females have superior memory and social cognition. Translate for us, Ryan. That's it's the reason why uh, Marsha Brady couldn't couldn't parallel park as far as Greg Lee. <laughs> I mean, it's the reason that you know men can take the woman to the mall, but the woman knows you know what, where to shop for. It's um it's it's certainly something that you see throughout um, even smaller children. You'll see boys who like to play with um, video games and you know remote control cars, as far as to girls who like. Barbies and dolls that talk to each other. You know, at six years old, the girl has Ken and Barbie in marriage counseling and the boy is smashing his cars together. Um, it also means that women oftentimes are more emotionally um, involved in conversations and they have better memories, which every man knows come anniversary time. Um, <laughs> women can, um, you know, women can remember the first date. Women, you know, men can't remember what his color's uh, white size are. But, um, but, that, that's a significant portion of why um, of, of a main difference, and it involves in careers a lot. You know, um, women women tend to, if you look at professional roles, uh, you'll see women are lack in the hard science sciences, um, but do better at PR. Um, they do very very well at even like our in the last besides John Kerry, our last three Secretary of State were women. <laughs> women seem to exceed in those kinds of areas. Hmm. Interesting. So some of these differences really are hardwired, and this is why my sons take my daughter's Barbie dolls and turn them into guns, and, and this is why my daughters can make a baby doll out of a Kleenex or a sock and love that thing to death. And, and some of these things really are hardwired, but what about mental health differences, Ryan? Well, you know, there's, I, I heard this once, and I, I don't know how true it is. I heard it from a professor once at college, that um, sometimes the tendency that men blame outwards and women blame inward. Hmm. That's why you'll have sometimes situations of women who drown their children versus men who are mm. serial killers, mm. um, or women who who blame themselves for every issue. Women seem to take blame better as far as men seem to perpetuate blame forward. So um, you know that's just the way that's the way a lot of it works when it comes to mental health and mental cognition when. It, when uh when it comes to uh you know aggression anger relationships um and and that's why a lot of times when you see psychiatrists talk a lot women deal with problems and issues that they have been digging deep and pushing and and, and dealing with internally as far as men go more more often than women for anger management hmm. and issues like that yeah well, it says here that, this is that Guardian article again, that psychological disorders 20 to 40 percent higher in women than men, um, with dealing with such things most especially like anxiety, depression, and insomnia, all of those more prevalent among women than men. But men have more problems with alcohol and drugs, and as you mentioned, managing their anger. Men are more likely to kill themselves, even though well, women... Well, that's the women nagging them. I mean, you know <laughs> <laughs> even though women make more suicidal attempts. So, Ryan, my question for you is, when you shake it all down, who, who's crazy? Well, you know what? Here's my problem. If feminists want to be equal, a lot of, you know, Gloria Stein always wants women to be equal, they have to start killing themselves at equal proportions to men. They can't just try. They have to actually succeed at it. Um, but I think that uh, when it a comes therapist, to... A therapist, Ryan, mean, is not. <laughs> Go ahead. When it comes to... That was just a joke. When it comes to who's crazy, that's, I mean, you got your, uh, 
you got your kooks everywhere. But uh, I think that um, a lot of times you'll see women showing craziness in relationships. You always have the stories of that girl who, you know, didn't take no as an answer, didn't take, you know, not no as an answer, but couldn't take the end. They were breaking up. Um, and you'll see men acting uh, foolishly in public or uh, or not taking consequences of uh, of, of loosely thought behavior out in public. A like lot. not paying their parking tickets, not mentioning any names, producer Jason. Um, yeah, because according again to this Guardian article, um, women are generally more stressed by societal pressures. They mention things like being stressed about their physical appearance. They say women are much more stressed about this than men. Shouldering the burden of responsibility for family, home, career, growing up in a society that uh, valorizes masculinity and belittles femininity. Um, what do you what do you think the real differences are as, as far as the way men and women respond to these societal pressures? Well, you know what I blame a lot of it on on our society. I mean, you look at just television alone. You know, you look at a uh, fat schleps like Fred Flintstone and and, and Tony Soprano always oh, got come beautiful on. wives. I love them. What is that about? You couldn't. You don't have to look. I mean, you do. As a skinny, when I was a teenager, I was a skinny, pimply, oily skinned boy. And it wasn't, you know, I had to start going to the gym. I had to build up my appearance. There is a certain level, but men aren't pushed into plastic surgery as much. Um, all nose jobs, breast augmentations. I mean, breast obviously are women's, women's uh, surgery, but nose uh, jobs, uh, facial surgery, a lot of times are more female than male. A lot more male. often women. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there is an expectation of beauty, and um, I think there is an expectation of, of, of how a woman is to, to look and to, and to sound and to smell and to, and to appear, um, to, get, to get ahead, to um, professionally, to find a relationship. I mean, you'll do, you will have women. I mean, look at just, look at how much stress a woman goes through to get married and go through her wedding day alone yeah. just for one day. Yeah. I mean, oh, what a woman spends on her wedding day versus what a man spends on his wedding day. I mean, for oh, a man, even the know. holidays, I think, to me, are, are a perfect example of how, and I'm always saying to the men around me, do you have any idea how stressful this time of year is uh, as women are uh, buying gifts and, and organizing the gifts and wrapping the gifts and, and, and doing the tree and all of those things? It, it takes a, an exorbitant amount of time and energy and all on a budget a lot of time, so there's that extra extra stress, um, and that's in addition to whatever family responsibilities and so forth. But one thing I wanted to say, there's a statistics that I, statistic that I saw that said that one in 20 women have experienced sexual, and abu sexual abuse far higher than that of men, although I think we tend to think of men as experiencing sexual abuse at about the same rate. What impact do you think this has on all of this, Ryan? Um, I, I, I never want to belittle a woman's experience. Certainly, there is a lot of people pushing women to count a lot of things as sexual abuse that may not be sexual abuse. Some mm -hmm. of it obviously is. Um, I think that um, for um, for for women, I mean, women more often than not, when they go out in the workforce, when they go out um, and they're vulnerable and they can be naive, and there are a lot of predators. Yeah, I mean, to, that's um, just the reality. To, to, Ryan, yeah, I appreciate you. Them, absolutely. Ryan, and we're out of time, my friend, but I appreciate you being on the show. Up next, we examine the differences in the workplace. We have our business coach up. Stay with us in a moment. We'll be back.